Hello, it's Heather the Crafty Writer. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here today. Um, so today I'm going to make another book pocket, but I had an idea um, for some, some uh, decoration and that kind of stuff. So um, that's pretty much what I'm going to do today. Um, this is uh, tea stained paper from uh, one of those magical almanacs, uh, probably from like 2002 or something. I had a bunch of this kind of stuff um, for the longest time in my stash. Um, I do want to sew around it, uh, so I will probably pause to do that. And the main reason because um, my bobbin is almost out of thread. And I would hate to run out of thread in the middle and you not have anything to watch while I, you know, mess with that. So, um, anyway, it's a, a full signature out. Um, and let's see, I think what I'm going to do is I want this to be seen kind of in the background. So I'm going to have it where the pocket is here. So like we've done before, um, one of my previous videos, we're just gonna pull this over and just fold it down, okay? And then, as you can see, when we close it, you'll see still a little bit of the picture. Um, what's a shame, though, is I like the tea staining on this side better than this side, but what can you do? Anyway, so now we're gonna put some glue here to hold it in place here and then we'll go and sew. Alright. Ah. Ooh. Carved a big chunk out of that. Probably give it a second to kind of a moment to kind of dry a little bit. There's a little bit of a glue gob, so I'm gonna just get it in there real good. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put this with my Halloween ephemera or not. It's not really Halloweenish, but I guess some people it would be. So we'll see. I might make a few of these and do more of a Halloween theme. I've got a few other ideas um, that I want to try out. So you know what? I think while since I want to do that, I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to grab some more paper like that and um, we'll go ahead and prep a few. This is going to be the hard part, is deciding if I want to save any of these and have them as actual inserts. Like I like some of the pictures and I don't really want to fold it and then if I fold it that way, I think you lose, yeah, we lose too much of that. Let me keep looking. Here's the whole stack. Yeah, that was the original cover. Um, yeah, 2002, 2003. So it's really old. Um, I might use this as a cover to something at some point. I think that'd be kind of neat. All right. That one I'm okay with. Maybe we'll use 
that one. Moon gardening, I kind of like. Tarot card. This one. That one we can use. I think this one's good. Yeah. Put that one in. We'll just do these. Slide you over. Let's see. I like this piece. So we'll make sure um, we'll keep that. Okay. Let's get the film folder out. Paper has such a nice sound to it, that nice crinkle sound. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Sorry if I'm a little quiet this morning or whatever time you watch this. Um, I had a bit of a stressful day yesterday. My, my cat had an upset stomach and uh, like I, I kept finding um, all kinds of stuff around the house and it's not the one that's got separation anxiety or just you know is skittish around people um, it's it's my cat storm well not just my cat it's my husband's cat now too but he's the one that I brought into the relationship and um, yeah he we, we didn't know which cat was doing it um, I suspected it was him because I hadn't seen him most of the day, but he was, um, there was some vomits I found in the house and then um, some very liquidy poop and yeah, so we, we saw it was him because um, we ended up seeing him like literally in the action of just liquid coming out. Um, I think we'll keep this as the front. Um, yeah. But um, we didn't see him throw up, but I'm pretty sure it was it was him. And it was interesting. He wouldn't go into like the litter box, but he wouldn't just poop on the floor. Um, so he would he would get on top of something like um, a blanket or. Uh, the welcome mat, um, is it like the doormat in front of the door. So we ended up, um, oh yeah, and I went downstairs to the basement bathroom. He pooped in the tub and then he pooped on the bath mat, which is no big deal because no one really uses that. So, you know, um, I cleaned it up and, you know, sanitized it and all that stuff. But we ended up laying out an old towel, um, that we use for, you know, like when, you know, toilets overflow or um, if you got anything else going on and you just, you need a towel that you don't care about. You know what I mean? Um, so we laid one of those out and he immediately went to it and, you know, did his business. So I've got a vet appointment scheduled for him tomorrow morning. He seems to be doing okay today, but you know how it is, you you worry about them. Um, I think, you know what, we might just go with 
Let's just do four. We got two of each going each way. And we'll save this one for something else later. Don't have many more of these pages left, and I absolutely love them. They're of all the things I have teed and coffee stained, this was my absolute favorite. So um, I might go see if I can find more of these, you know, either old or at this point I'd buy them brand new from like Barnes and Noble or something. Because um, it's the paper, I think, that really makes a huge difference. All right. I'm going to pause you and I'm going to go sew. Um, I'm going to sew here first and then I'll close it up and then I'll sew all the way around it. I think I'll probably use a zigzag stitch. Um, if you do not have a sewing machine, uh, at this point you would just put some glue here and down here and then you're done with the basic structure. Um, usually for pockets like this, I would, if I'm just gluing, I would use something like Fabri-Tac. But I'm going to sew it, so I'll be back in uh, just a minute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. I'm done with sewing for the day because apparently today's not my day to sew. So, my th the bobbin ran out like I thought it was. Refilled the bobbin. And then I guess I threaded it wrong because... Correct? Not correct. <laughs> what? And then, that's how it was for every single one of them. And so I had to sew it face down. And I've never had to do that with my sewing machine before. You know, until I got to this one. And I started sewing here. This is the last one. And I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't know. Um, my sewing machine was possessed, I guess, for a moment. Things went kind of crazy. But then it started sewing correctly. You can't see it because it's all on that side, but it sewed correctly. Like, stitched correctly, I should say. I still did a terrible job. And then when and then when I sewed this one, I did it the wrong way. So it was like I had to fold the paper over to fit it underneath. It was a whole ordeal. Today was not the day for sewing. That is clear. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to trim off these little tidbits. Um... It may only seem like, you know, a moment for you, but that was a, that was like a 15 minute ordeal over there. I don't know. We'll definitely cover this area. <laughs> special, special sewing machine. If you like the little strings, you could probably leave them. I mean, I kind of like them, but I don't know. I kind of don't. It's I'm in between. I don't mind them in the in the top, but if you've got good thread, um, you could probably hang charms off of it. But I don't think I have really great thread because my thread broke a couple of times while I was trying to fill the bobbin, it would break, so. And then, like, the bobbin was filling, it was, like, super, super loose, like, when you try and fill the bobbin. So I had to unravel it and start over again. Anyway. We'll let, let some of those stay. Okay. I think it's time for a sip of chai. Ah, more like a gulp, not a sip. Okay. All right. So we got our papers. 
I probably could have inked, like if you like the distressed ink look, you could have inked there. But honestly, I didn't worry about it because there's such a distinct coloration that I don't think it needs to be worried about. We'll do this one first since it's the um, saddest looking one. All right, so I want some uh, paper doilies. If I can get them to separate, that is. I got these from Joann's in their like little cheapy bin section on one of the aisles um, a while ago. I've had them for at least a year, if not longer. Last few times I've gone to Joann's, they no longer carry the... They have that same area, same brand and stuff, but they don't carry the paper doilies, which is very, very disappointing because I love these things. So I figured we put like a little doily there. We're gonna cut it in half, but we're gonna use that to fold it. Oh, we didn't even use half. <laughs> we're gonna cut it on this line, and then we'll see which which piece we like best. Okay. All right. Just a little bit more, and then this one's a little bit less. I think I might like a little bit more. And then we could probably use this other piece like, I don't know, um, ooh, you could probably glue it underneath and kind of have like a little bit of texture popping out there. We might do that. Okay. So, let's, um, I know I definitely want to decorate it. Should we do the doily down first or get all the other pieces? Uh, I guess we'll put the doily down first and then we'll go. We'll go from there. Okay. Oh. I had a horrendous migraine yesterday. I'm still not feeling super well today. I think that might be partially why I just I'm not super chatty. Um, not that I'm a super, super chatty person, but I try and be a little chatty. I don't like how that shows, but we might use some distress ink there. Um, but I try and be at least a little bit chatty, because um, I, I like chatty videos, you know. Um, but yeah, I had a, a really bad migraine yesterday. And if you suffer from migraines or you know of someone who does and they've described it, you'll know what I'm talking about when I say that... Um, like I had the, I didn't have the orbs just yet, um, but it was like the precursor to the orbs. And you know, if you're unfamiliar with that, that's when, um, when you see orbs, that's when like you have like these black spots in your vision. So like you can't see straight ahead, but you still have a little bit of your um, peripheral vision. And, um, Sometimes that, that kind of goes too. Well, eventually it goes. This one was like the precursor to that. So it was like super blurred vision. And I didn't have like the black orbs, but I had the um, kind of um, clear orbs or, you know, like just a light orb. Um, to me, it's like looking in a funhouse mirror, so everything is like moving and waving and just stretched or lengthened, and it's just, it's really weird when it happens, and when you're trying to read something, it doesn't work. Like, if I'm holding my phone, I can kind of turn my head and bring it like straight close to my face, and I can kind of read just a little bit, but not, not very, very great, and... 
that's kind of what happened yesterday and it it, was, it hit me right as I was uploading my video and I was typing things out in the description box and I wasn't sure I was going to get through and then um, you know I ended up taking a little bit of a nap uh, luckily I'd already gotten my daughter home from school but it kind of eased up I, I had a still a terrible headache and I was nauseous but at least I had clear -er vision so I got up and I cleaned the kitchen so I could cook dinner and uh, well, my so my husband could come home and help me cook dinner because I, I wasn't able to do it on my own and in the middle of doing dishes it like hit again um, like the bad vision and everything and oh I, I hate those probably more than anything when when you get migraines and then for me the whole next day after I have a migraine I'm just off you know like I usually get like a bad upset stomach and you know I just uh, I don't know I just the day is not good <laughs> like I, I make a lot of blunders and <laughs> it's like nothing I, I can't focus and um, I don't know it's just it really sucks when it happens you know so if you know anybody who has migraines then you, know, you probably understand what I'm talking about and um, at least can sympathize to a certain degree um, so I got that I kind of like that and I want to put something here um, let's look in our scraps um, let's move the tea dyed scraps away and use regular scraps because I think it needs some kind of I know that's got color, but it needs something, something else, you know? Um, um, I got brown paper, but I use that a lot, you know? I think we'll hold off on that. Um, I feel like that would just compete. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I've got this I could put underneath. And it's like that on the other side. Actually, I kind of like that. And then I got this. This is like um, from a calendar. Um, Maybe we need it over there. Or like that, maybe. Just feel like we need like little little extra something something, you know what I mean? Does that look too organized though? Um that's what I have the issue with. I think I liked it better with music paper a little bit more that way. And we could take that like that. Ooh, you know what? We could put like a little banner tab right there. I move it up a little bit and put like a little little forked tongue tab looking thing. I think that's what we'll do. Okay. So let's, let's cut this. Okay. All right. And then we'll glue this together and then I'll do the little tab up there. Um, this is actually, it came from um, it came from the moon, Sun, Moon, and Stars book. If you watched my last video, I used 
um, I think just one image. I'm just gonna kind of mark with a pencil where this is gonna go. And I think I'm gonna trim it because it's still got a little bit of actually you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna trim it. <laughs> That'll probably mess it up. Okay. Sorry if my head gets in the way. I just wanna kind of get this in there. And get this laid down right where it needs to be. Okay, like that. There we go. And then we'll cut the little tabs. And you can either make a little mark through here or you could just eyeball it. Um, either which way, I always mess up. So <laughs> it's never even, it never looks right. But it is what it is, and you know, hey, that one's not too bad. The beauty about junk journals is, you know, nothing is, you know, has to be perfect, perfect. I think that's why a lot of people like junk journals. It's because there's perfection in the imperfections, you know. Things are old and aged and, you know tattered and that's okay. There's things that are uneven. It's not perfectly symmetrical and perfectly even, perfectly measured. Sure is one of my favorite things about journaling because I am not very good at that stuff at all. There we go. I'm so excited that tomorrow is the last day of early release this week for my daughter's school. So that's nice. I can get back to my normal schedule. It's like I feel like I have to um, kind of rush all my videos or just my crafting in general just or I mean I haven't even wrote this week I, I did no writing this week um, and that's because I writing is one of those things that I can't just stop in the middle of to go and do something you know I have to I have to be in it for a couple hours or not even just a couple hours it takes a good hour to two hours for me to really you know, get going and get in the groove of it and, and hit my stride. And then if you interrupt me <laughs> or if I have to, you know, stop and go and do this or that when it's not a, a voluntary stop of, you know, I have to go, you know, pee or get another uh, something to drink or, you know, or if it's, it's sometimes what I'll do is when I hit, um, not really writer's block, but I hit a roadblock and I, I'm not sure where I want to go next with it or it doesn't feel like it's flowing right. Sometimes I'll get up and I'll go like fold some towels or do something like that and usually that'll help um, while I'm doing something. It'll snap me out of it and trigger, you know, like, oh yeah, this is what's supposed to happen next. That's, that's how they get out of this or... You know, that kind of stuff. Um, so I think this one is done. I'm going to ink around the perimeter a little bit. Uh, I just like that little bit more around the edges. Um, yeah, I've got some really, what I, well, I think it's neat. I, I don't know if you guys would, but I, I made a journal, not really a journal, it's kind of a journal, um, a character profiles and information about, you know, like the world I created and all of that kind of stuff. And I did it almost in, this is before I started junk journaling, but I did it kind of in like a art journal, junk journal kind of form. Um, so if that's something 
you guys might would be interested in seeing, you know, let me know below and I'll definitely show show you guys what I've done. Okay. So there's that. I think I like how that turned out. And you just stick things in there. Um, in my previous video, I've done like ribbon to the side and you can do that. I know we talked about putting that there, but I think I'm going to hold off on it. I might, I might do it on one of the other ones. So, because we're already at 30 minutes and I want to keep this under uh, an hour. The goal was to keep it half an hour, 45 minutes, but I've had some debacles. <laughs> so that's not going to happen. Um, let's see. I was thinking put that there. And then I like my music paper with it. So we'll keep up that little tradition or that method. is do we want to keep it inside or outside? I think I want to keep it inside. I think I like it better inside of the stitching. I like how you can see a little bit of the music paper peeking through. Okay, and then we need something over in here. Um, I guess we should decide if we're going to put an image down there. Got some of this stuff. Um, put the green man there. All right, come on. Have a book of roses that we might use in one of the other ones. Ooh, I got some ideas for the next one. Okay, yeah. I think we might go with the tree because I like it with that. Uh, let's see. What else do we want? We'll fussy cut him out and maybe we'll put a label. Maybe like a fancy. Tracy Fox label. Uh, let's see, let's see. I think I kind of like that one. Yeah. Yeah. It brings just a little bit of color into it. All right, let's cut this out. Yeah, this morning I, I felt better. And then as we were about to walk out the door, my daughter and myself, I sneezed. And it felt like someone drove a railroad spike into my head. And it was mostly on the right side of my head. Um, like the migraine was right at the eyes, right behind the eyes, mostly on the... Um, right hand side migraines suck guys my mother um, has chronic migraines as well and so I grew up with it you know seeing how hard it is on somebody um, and it sucks you know as a kid and I, I feel bad because you know I can't do things with my daughter, you know, when I'm having one. Like yesterday, she really wanted me to play video games with her, but I, I just, I couldn't, you know. Um, 
I, I, I could barely talk, you know, and it's, I hate it. It's, it sucks when that happens. You know, you sit on the couch and you're pretty much in tears from the pain. But I've never had luck with the migraine medications either. They've never worked for me. They've always made me like just completely a zombie and I I don't I don't like it. Like I remember um, several years years ago, uh, my old store manager, uh, him and the assistant manager, like they were, they were worried about me. They did not like that I was on some of the medication because I would just come in and just, I would look high the entire time and. If I had a migraine and I took one of the like the preventative ones, just kind of made me kind of just off my game. Is is the best way I can describe it? I was just off my game. Like I, it, it took me a while to process what people were saying, and then if I had a migraine and I took um, the the pill that dissolves under your tongue. Um, it, it would make me sluggish and they they didn't want me driving home or anything they wouldn't let me climb any of the ladders because I looked like I was I was off balance the entire time which was smart on their part because <laughs> I mean I, I was very very dizzy and just I don't know it's like is it worth it you know sometimes it is and then sometimes it's you know it's not so you know managed it for years just taking like over-the-counter stuff and you know it works for the most part but it destroys your liver which you know is kind of what's happening with me it's like my livers I've got elevated liver enzymes and it's it's because of taking over-the-counter medication so that's something I've had to pull back doing and yesterday sucked but you know one of my other at home remedies is um, essential oils and then I use um, I get uh, caffeine and dark chocolate and that tends to work but it just kills my my diet of you know trying not to consume too much sugar <laughs> And if I do like a soda, that really kills it. <laughs> but hey, you know, I'd rather kill my diet and then um, suffer like that or having to take medication that just makes people look at you like you're some kind of freak, you know? Like there's something wrong. All right, I think that one's done. So, still doing pretty okay on time. Um, okay, for the next one though, I've got. I'm gonna reach over you guys this way. Alright. Got this book of roses. Got this as at a used bookstore. Um, not too long ago. Like, it's got some gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. It's like, I want to save most of the pages uh, like that. I mean, God, that's so gorgeous. I want to save some of the pages um, so I can use it. Oh, I kind of like that. <laughs> I wonder. Where's the other side to you? Is it this? I think it might be that. Nope, nope. One more. Okay. 
she's pretty. Well, that does suck. <laughs> so I was thinking about just cutting that out and using that. Well, that might actually be too big. That's too big. You know what? I might scan that at some point and use that. Um, some of these I want to use as actual signatures in journals, like that one. I love that one. Um, sorry, I don't have everything planned. <laughs> uh, but that's, this is, you know, how most people craft, right? They don't always have a plan and they just start grabbing stuff. I think those would be fine in journals. Some beautiful roses there. that. Oh, I like that. Okay. Alright, I was thinking about maybe some of these. Maybe her. She's pretty. And this is my own fault. You know, I should have just ripped all the signatures out and just had it, you know, stacked and ready to go. As you can see, I cut that out. What's on the other side of that signature? Mm, nothing really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I cut some of the stuff out for um, an altered journal. That I used for um, yeah, I used it for an altar journal for a Tracy Fox thing. It took me a while to say it all, right? You know. Um, well, poops. I didn't really find. I mean, I found stuff I like, but nothing I'm willing to give up a whole signature for. You know what I mean? It's like I wanna, I wanna still save some of the stuff. I like the Alice, but I'm got an Alice themed journal in mind. I kind of want to save it for. Well, um, let's see, we could do flowers. I've got some. I got some floral stuff. She's nice. Oh yeah, she's on the back of that. We liked that. Oh, all of that popped right on out. It's a really cool looking. See? Stuff that I'm willing to cut out is always on the back of something that I love. Ah. Fine then, roses will wait. See, I got some birds. We can cut out some birds to put on there. Um, I know that one's getting limited for some reason. I've not had the best luck finding some of the books. Um, that's why I've been doing... I bought a lot of a few of the Tracy Fox stuffs. Get some fungi. I like that one. Okay, you're top of the list, and then I think these are just random papers that don't really have pretty artwork. So I can glue stuff on top of those. And then we got some weeds. We got some weeds. Let's keep thinking. That mushroom. Hmm. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, got that stuff. That'll be for a different journal. Poem reading. That'd be kind of cool to put in that, but I want the whole page. And then I got that to go with it. So I'm gonna be on one of my next, you know, kind of witchy, pagany kind of journals I'm gonna do. I think I always have one of those in mind. All right, I think we're gonna go with this mushroom. He's who's speaking to me. Where did I put my, oh, they're right in front of your face. Get some scissors. Mm. All right, we're just going to fussy cut around this, and then we'll glue her there and maybe add some other stuff with it like you do. Ooh, if you can really see the details. The little bumps. I'm gonna try and cut around those. It's a very ambitious fussy cutting thing that you wanna do. But you know, no pain, no gain, right? Isn't that what they say? Yeah, we got a birthday party to go to on Saturday. So that'll be fun. It's for, excuse me, my daughter's friend. This birthday was actually a few weeks ago, but they were on like fall break. Because my kid does a, uh, it's basically a year round school. So they have shorter summers, but lots of lots of breaks um, during the school year. So uh, anyway, so his birthday was during fall break back in September and they decided not to do a birthday party um, for various different reasons, you know, personal reasons I guess. And uh, so now they're gonna do one and it's gonna be this this Saturday. Um, She's gone to, she's been in pre-K with this little boy for two years. Like, they're in preschool and pre-K together. Um, same class, both years. And then they are in the same kindergarten class this year. And they have Taekwondo after school on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Same place, same class. <laughs> so like well apparently we're gonna be best friends because that's, that's what our kids are setting things up to do right so yeah his parents are really really nice and so we're, we're excited I haven't told my daughter yet that we're doing that I like to spring things on her like that at the last minute That way, you know, if she gets sick and we can't go, she's not like super, super upset. She's still learning about disappointment. <laughs> and, you know, the emotions that come with having to deal with consequences and when things don't go your way and all that. Um, I know that seems like pretty standard stuff, but when you have a kid with autism, it, it's a little extra, you know? And she's like barely even on the spectrum, so I can, I can kind of, you know, sympathize with the parents who, whose kids are further on the spectrum, because if this is what we go to and she's like 
barely on their mild case. I can I can only imagine what a more severe case what they go through. Actually, there's a lot of videos on YouTube where you kind of get a, a glimpse into people's lives that experience that, and I think it's a great thing because it really brings a lot of awareness to it. Like, um, both of our kids have sensory issues with noise, loud noises, and like they like public restrooms are a nightmare um, for them. Because it's it's the automatic flushers, which I mean a lot of little kids don't like those anyway. But my daughter doesn't like the echoing of a flushing toilet, um, and so like when she flushes the toilet even at home, she it's the last thing she does, and she immediately runs out of the bathroom. So like she'll wash her hands and all that, you know, before she flush, flushes, she'll flush and then she'll just bolt out of the bathroom. She doesn't like the sound. Hand dryers are the same way. She hates those. Um, so it's it's easier if she and I go to a public restroom together. If they have a hand dryer, then I cover her ears while she tries to dry her hands. Um, and but the automatic flushers, you know, there's not much you can do about that. So. So she struggles with that. And it's interesting, their teacher they had last year was just, oh God, she was amazing. She's like that teacher that if you could have her be your kid's teacher every single year up and through college, you would because she's just, she's perfect at it, you know? It's, it's clear, it's her calling, she was meant to do it, and she's amazing. I absolutely adore her and you know it's great because the the preschool is um, part of the elementary school that they go to and we actually petitioned to keep my daughter there uh, instead of going to where we're actually zoned for and luckily she was one of the ones that got accepted and um, so uh, so yeah, so she she goes to that school and her, her pre-K teacher is still there. Um, and oddly enough, her first year preschool teacher is her kindergarten teacher this year. So last year's pre-K teacher is, it was her first year teaching. And she's still there and she's just, I, I was telling, um, I was telling uh, the little boy's mom that, you know, you wish he could be a Feeny, you know, like from Boy Meets World. I don't know if y'all are familiar with that old show, but, you know, Mr. Feeny went, he was there through what, elementary school, middle school, high school, and then they still saw him in college. You know, that's, that's what you want, you know. <laughs> that's like the ideal. And that's, you know, what I, I mentioned that I wish that she could be is, you know, a Mr. Feeny and be with them forever. Um, cause she's just that good. So anyway, all that to say last year we went to Disney world and you know, now, um, we went for a wedding and you know, the little boy, you know, he wants to go to Disney world because I shared the pictures with, um, the teacher and, um, she shared it with the class, you know, cause they like to see experiences like that and all that, all that fun stuff. And little boy was concerned about the bathroom. So his mom asked me, you know, asked me about them. I'm like, well, we, we never went to the restroom. <laughs> She's like, well, what did you do while, while you were there? Cause you were at the, you know, you're at the park all day. I'm like, yeah, no, we, uh, we got our lunch to go and we went back to the hotel room and ate lunch at the hotel. And cause we, we did the Disney resort hotel. And, again, because we were there for, you know, a wedding, so we got a pretty good, you know, not a really good discount, but we got a discount. And, um, I kind of like that. And, uh, anyway, so, um, so, yeah, uh, so we, I, I told her I have no idea how the restrooms sound. So, <laughs> like at the park. So, um, the teacher 
ended up going to Disney World and filmed the bathroom. Like, how the toilets sound, how the hand dryers sound. Obviously, there was, you know, no one in the, the bathroom when she was doing it. But, I mean, she she went out of the way and, and filmed it. So he had an idea of what to expect. And it's like, you know, what normal teacher does that? None. She's She's just... She's a gift, you know? She is a gift. I think we like that one. I think that adds a little something. We could put a label, but I, I think I think we'll just do that. Um, I do have a brown doily, but I think that kind of just blends in I kind of like it on the back you know I, I want to do that with some, well, one of them I only have one sheet left maybe this is the sheet to do it with maybe it is let's glue this down and then we'll decide on that okay does that sound fine you guys let's get some inking done first let's ink it all up But yeah, yeah, my, my daughter's school is just, it is awesome. I mean, it's like a lot of the teachers there, even the principal, I mean, it's just mind boggling and amazing how well they are at their jobs. Like, I remember we went for open house uh, right before school started for this year and the principal recognized my daughter like she remembered she remembered who her teacher was for the first year she remembered you know who she had last year and who she had this year and it wasn't like oh this is you know so and so no she recognized my daughter by sight and recognized uh, me and my husband as well especially me because I'm the one who ends up going down to the school the most because you know, I work from home, um, basically doing this. My husband <laughs> goes into an office and he's on a good low traffic day a half hour away. So, it's just, you know, that's impressive too. Like, there's a lot of kids at the school. But the, the principal is very involved in it. And it's like, I don't remember my elementary school principal being involved like that you know and she's just she's she's again she's one of those people that she found her calling and she is right where she's supposed to be and I really like the principal she's really really nice um, I think we're gonna get rid of this this page Probably make some journaling cards with these pretty soon. Got a few stacked up. Uh, but, yeah, that's one of the reasons we petitioned to be at this school. I'm sure that the other school we're zoned for is great. And sometimes I have moments where I second guess myself. Because, you know, I see all these other kids in our neighborhood getting on the bus in the morning and, you know, like my daughter, she, she really liked riding the bus uh, the last two years. But, you know, I, I don't know. It's just one of those things where, you know, I felt like she needed to be at this, this particular school. And because it's just like it's it's god I can't say enough about the school it's just amazing and like I said not to say that the other school isn't but you know she also doesn't do change very well and I don't know she probably would have been just fine <laughs> she probably would have been fine better than I expected 
but I don't know. I kind of want to just keep her, keep her where we were familiar, where we knew what to expect and all that. And I've gone over my hour that I was wanting to keep it under. Ooh, and I'm going to have to cut it short. I don't think I'll be able to finish my last one with you guys at least. Um, because I'm going to have to walk out the door pretty soon to go get the kiddo. Alright, so I think I do want to put that there. Uh, so we'll do that real quick and then I'll let you guys go. If you're still with me. <laughs> I know not everybody likes long videos and that's cool. Not everybody has to. I enjoy watching the long videos. I craft most of mine and, you know, I end up having to get to the um, carpool line pretty early because it backs up quick. And, um, so I like watching videos while I'm, while I'm waiting. I think right about there. I think that'll look pretty good. All right. So there's that one. Let's pull out the others. So we did this one. And then we did this one. And then we did this one. We probably would have gotten the fourth one done had I not had a sewing machine debacle. So I will probably do this one off camera. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And this is one I like the least because it it's all janky and messed up. But you know, whatever. These turned out good. I like these. Anyway, um, so thank you again for watching my videos, especially if you made it all the way to the end. Um, if you watch my videos pretty regularly or um, if you've just stumbled across them, let me know what you like and what you didn't like and um, what you would like to see because I would like to make more videos that you guys would like to see. I love making these probably the most. Uh, these kind of, you know, book page pockets. They're quick and they're easy, they're fun. Um, so yeah, and if you would like to see um, stuff about my in my writing, um, like how I incorporate uh, crafting and junk journaling and stuff like that into um, character building, world building, let me know and uh, I will do that. I've got some other ideas in mind for some other videos, so uh, definitely subscribe because you'll see some pretty, hopefully you'll think it's neat. If not, that's okay. I think it's pretty neat. Um, so I've got some pretty cool stuff coming up um, pretty soon. Um, so yeah, um, thanks again for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.